if Jesus, BCP upon him, indeed had, had a breaching life in the Near East, how come that there are no Christians left there, nor that the Holy Quran did not speak of it? If Jesus, peace be on him, indeed had a preaching life in the Near East, how comes that there are no Christians over there? Where? In, uh, in the Near East. There are Christians? Yes. Don't kill them. The Abonite Christians and this Christian in Egypt, there are so many. They are very Coptic, Coptic. Coptic, I have met some of them in Holland. The Coptic Christians, they are very stout and uh, resolute Christians. So the question is not... Uh, What's what I think he's talking about? Uh, founded on, on any... It means the Far East, not the Near East. Yeah. He's the, talking in, about in, in, in India, in... Oh, oh. oh. Yes. In Ghadiyan, he's in Kashmir. Together. Ask him, is there any followers of Pharaoh's religion in Arabia, in Egypt? <coughs> Where are they? Who were the people prior to Islam? Does he found any idolaters like the Quraysh in Makkah? Anywhere in Saudi Arabia? Anywhere? Just show me one. So sometimes the faiths completely transcend all other faiths and their positions and uh, wipe them out of the existence. In Germany, there is no sign whatsoever of their previous religion of, by the name of a god called Wotan or Wotan, whatever they call it. Not a trace. No trace is left in Norway of uh, the religion prior to Christianity's, Christianity's arrival there. So, whatever answer he finds in this, to this question of mine, the same answer I'll give him in response to his question. Okay? This is an answer in principle. It does not apply to the case of Jesus Christ as such. I'm just showing the absurdity of the question because it's a question of logic. If no trace of a previous religion is found, you cannot say that that religion did not exist. This is the only answer in principle. As far as what happened to the message of Jesus is concerned, he cannot be equated with Pharaoh and Macrons and this and that. So don't carry this simile too far. I just counted the logic of the question. You understand? And I said there is no logic in the question because this happens. In case of Jesus Christ, something happened which was, it has to be understood. Because he was not a prophet of God, or he was not a man whose religion was wiped out by the decree of God. In that area, this my answer is not applicable. Understand the point? Now I'm explaining, trying to explain the answer which is applicable to, the, to Jesus Christ himself. What happened in his case was <coughs> that his title was changed to that of a Buddha, a foreign Buddha. And his faith got mixed up with a Buddhist faith which was expecting a man like him. A prophecy was made by Hazrat Buddha salam, that 500 years from his time a foreign Buddha would appear among his followers here in India. And exactly 500 years from the time of Buddha Hazrat Masih migrated from Kashmir, from Palestine and appeared in Kashmir. This is recorded by the Hindu history of uh, in the annals of Puranas as they call it that uh, the king or uh, the Raja of, the, of Kashmir at that time while he was on a hunting expedition saw some noble man coming along with a few of his followers and you know walking in the valley of Kashmir. 
So he was astounded and he went to him and found out who he was. The answer was Mashihu. My name is Mashihu. That is Masih. And the name of your religion, that is love, which is Christian claim. And why, why are you here? It's because my people persecuted me and prosecuted me to the extent that I should have died. But God in His grace saved me and redeemed me from, the, from my death. So I have migrated from that place to this country. Now this is a fantastic record of history which coincides exactly with the disappearance of Jesus Christ in Palestine and appearance in Kashmir. And this was the time when it was predicted that a foreign Messiah would come, foreign, foreign Buddha would come. Now his title got changed to Buddha of that time. And he was referred to as Buddha because the proof is that the story of a virgin birth has found its way into the Buddhist stories. You can't believe two virgin births having taken place <coughs> because about the older Buddha we know he was not uh, the child of a virgin birth. His mother was married to the king of the small Raja of course but of that area and uh, he was a child of uh, matrimony between the mother and the father. So this story to be found, to be have circulated officially and accepted as a part of Buddha beliefs, Buddhist beliefs, is a proof of what I am telling you that he, Buddha, Jesus Christ must have been completely merged with Buddhism and his identity must have been merged completely with Buddha. That is why the virgin, virgin birth story and also other stories very similar like the shaking of the tree at the birth and uh, the fruit falling. Fantastic similarity between the traditions of Buddhism and what we know of Jesus Christ and his style of life and his message. So when things mixed up, sometimes a foreign title becomes more popular than the real own, one's own title. And a good example of that is found in Ahmadiyyad. Hazrat Masih Maudulay was basically initially Imam Mahdi. That was his home title. But now the world over Jamaat Ahmadiyya refers to him as Masih Maud which was a foreign title, <laughs> see? <laughs> see, an example which fits exactly the case of Messiah. So what happened to him also happened to his, his, his second advent, Masih Maud. So he is now popular by the name of Messiah, while it is not his own home title. His home title is Maud, Masih Al-Madi al Maud. So that happens, so it was just a case of a change of titles. There people accept like Buddhist, Buddha title much more than Masaha. So although his name Masihu is also found in historic records of India and of Kashmir of the same period, yet for that title to have been pushed aside and a new title to have been acquired by Masaha is not at all unnatural and unlikely. What it? This is what happened to him. So, the first answer is in the rebuttal of the logic of the question. The logic of question is, is, is uh, not sound. It happens that people are wiped out and new, peop new, new people emerge and no mention of them is left behind. And in case of Jesus Christ, this is what we know must have happened. Right? Sounds like <laughs> mentioned the, the virgin birth. Yes. Huh? yes. Yeah, we know. Yes. This is another proof 
कि वर दिस से वर दे रिफर टू बुधा वन दे रिफर टू बुधा द बुधिस दम सेल्स आर कन्फ्यूज अबाउट इट दे टॉक ऑफ बुधा एंड इन फैक्ट दे आर रिफरिंग टू मसीह वेन ही अपेयर बिकॉज द स्टोरी ऑफ मसीह इज नॉट एट्रीब्यूटेड टू बुधा इफ मसीह हैड नॉट रीच देयर हैड नॉट बीन एक्सेप्टेड एज ए लीडर Why was Buddha referred to have been born out of virgin birth? Why that Buddha was not? So this was a new identity of Mas of Masih, which was Buddha, which carried its uh, traditions along with it, and got accepted by the Buddhists within totality. So that they themselves now, when they refer to Buddha, they don't know which Buddha they are referring to. Some of the stories they speak of this Buddha, this Masih, which we know, and some of the old Buddha, and they are contradictory because they are in fact about two persons. Now, what's the question? Clear? Yes,